Crypto Activator here and welcome back to another video. In this video, I wanna talk about the graph. I wanna talk about the GRT token, why I believe there is a great upside potential with this crypto project. So let's get started. Okay guys, we're gonna talk a little bit about the graph, the GRT token. Essentially, what I just wanted to do was to bring this to your attention, put this on your radar so you're aware of this. This is another, I would consider it more of a gamble type of a token, right? I mean, it's not the first cycle here, it's not a, a meme coin or anything like that, right? But it's, you know, it, it is more on the little bit of, more of on the uh, higher risk than my core crypto tokens that I got in my core HODL bank, right? This is one that I would put a little bit uh, less of an allocation towards, all right? Now, of course, none of this here is financial advice. This is crypto. You need to do your own research when it comes to crypto, all right? Now, I appreciate that, you know, hey, you've coming over here, you're watching through one of my videos. I understand that, you know, this is also part of doing your research, checking it out, you know, looking into what these tokens are all about and these crypto projects. I appreciate that. But I'm gonna encourage you to head on over to the Graph website, learn a little bit more about the Graph, read through the white paper, read through the docs, check it out make sure you have a little bit more of a understanding of what it is all right and what exactly they do i'll give you a little bit of an understanding right here in this video okay so the graph let's just start off with the basics right what are the basics behind the graph and the grt token right well the graph in is in essence the graph is a decentralized protocol that acts as google for the blockchain index and query their data on the blockchains or you know get it from various blockchains okay with a primary focus on ethereum you can think of it as a bridge between decentralized applications dapps and a wealth of information that is stored on blockchains the key innovation here is the use of subgraphs Subgraphs are specialized APIs that make it easier for developers to access specific data without the need to process through the whole blockchain. So what's the purpose? What's being solved? What's this all about? Well, what does it do? Well, this is what the graph does. This is why it exists, all right? You, okay, so the, the, the world of blockchain and accessing and retrieving specific data efficiently can be quite a daunting task. And the graph solves this problem by providing a decentralized and efficient way for developers to access the exact data that they need, making it decentralized applications more scalable and user-friendly. By creating and deploying subgraphs, developers can tailor their data queries by streamlining the process and improving the overall user experience of decentralized applications. Let's take a look at the tokenomics here. Now let's talk about the GRT, the GRT token. This is the Graph's native token. The Graph's native token, GRT, plays a crucial role in the Graph's ecosystem. It's used to incentivize and align participants in the network, including indexers, curators, and delegators. So whether you're an indexer providing services, a curator signaling on valuable subgraphs or a delegator staking your tokens, GRT is at the heart of these interactions, creating a vibrant and decentralized ecosystem. The circulating supply of the graph, the GRT token, right now stands at about 90%, 90% of the total supply. So that's pretty good, being there's only 10% left to be put out in circulation, okay? and. This places it in the top percentile. Now let's check out the coin gecko and check out a little bit of the stats here on this GRT token. Okay, so let's check this out. Here we are on coin gecko. We're gonna take a look at the stats. Right now we're looking at just over 15 cents, so almost 15 and a half cents right now for the GRT token. All right, this is pretty good. This is excellent, all right. Right now, the total current market cap, we're looking at about, uh, you know, $1.4 billion, right? So $1.4 billion, a lot of growth left. When we look at the previous all-time high in the numbers right down here, we're looking at about 94% down right now. So we're down 
94% from the previous all time or from the from the all time high, the previous all time high, which was about a two dollars and eighty four cents. That means we've got from this price right here, fifteen and a half cents, about just around probably just under nineteen x. All right, just under nineteen times just to get back to the previous all time high. Now, will it make it back there? Well, hey. We never know, right? You don't know. I mean, you, potentially it could go right back to the previous all-time high, you know, this bull market, this bull run, okay? That's really starting to kick off, okay? It could go back there and then just go right on by and just keep on mooning or something. You never know, right? That's still great. 19X just to get back to the previous all-time high. If it doesn't make it back to the previous all-time high and it only goes halfway, what are we looking at? What, like eight, nine X? You know, you're still making pretty good. Uh, you know, a nice amount of X's just getting back there. Hey, we're at a perfect time. That's why I said this is something that I've added to my bag, okay? At these type of prices, you've got a lot of potential. The fundamentals are here, right? So it's a really good opportunity, I believe, just to have a little bit. When I, when I grab a little bit of a token like this, I call this more of a gamble play. It's not my my top core tokens in my HODL bag in my portfolio. So I'm grabbing more around one, two, three percent, two percent, you know, of, you know, my portfolio into something like this just so that I got a little bit there because you never know what's going to happen, right? It's on Ethereum. The best place to go is just to grab a little bit on Ethereum, okay? And so this is what I got for you here. Let me know. Do you find any value in this content? Are you yourself already stacking some of the GRT tokens? Are you stacking some of the graph tokens? And do you see a great potential as well for this project, for the, for the graph? Let me know in the comments. Also smash this like button on your way out and I'll see you in the next one.